Before we get into the video for this week, I want to give a huge shout out to Lower Class Fab for hooking it up. I was about an hour away. I got a phone call from Brandon. He said, if you want to get into the show, I got a ticket for you. I never intended on bringing the, taking the truck off of the trailer. So I'm going to add in the footage. We got a little sidetracked. We had to make a side quest and get the truck aired up. It was a, it was a detour, but it was well worth the detour. I also want to give a shout out to Magic Man Metal Fabs. If you haven't subscribed to either one of these guys' channels, go subscribe right now. I'll add links in the description. They're awesome people. They took care of me at the show. It's, it turned out great. I didn't get a lot of footage of me at the show and walking around because I was so, there were so many people that I met that were subscribed and hopefully will subscribe since they met me. It was awesome. Great weekend, great week. It's a super long week, a lot of random things. The truck made it out of the garage. It made it onto the trailer. It made it seven and a half hours away to Mini Nats. And I got to see, interact with a lot of people. It was awesome. Awesome time. Glower class definitely took care of me. Jason over at Magic Man Metal Fab, great guy. Everybody was awesome. I'm so glad to meet all of the people that I met. I handed out almost every sticker that I had. I made, I think, over a hundred. I will add a link in the description for both of those channels. And it was an awesome time. Thanks everybody for taking care of me this weekend, basically, and being so, I don't know, gracious and humble. And it's like everybody says it's weird to meet somebody that you've seen online or you've talk to online that you never met before and everybody blew me away on how nice everyone was and genuine people it was an awesome time so stick around i'll add links again this is uh this is a different video from what i normally do there's a lot of me working this week and there's a lot of traveling and a little bit of the show coverage i was busy so i apologize not for not getting a lot but i guarantee you those guys have some footage on their channel, so go check them out. And we'll get into me rambling, and then we'll pick up at the end of this video. And I'll have some stuff to talk about and some things going forward from here. So thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all of the other videos. And we'll get Welcome into it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Crawford. This is Virginia's for Lowriders. We're doing it again. We're getting back on the Monster Project. I actually pulled a really long week last week, getting as much done as possible. We left off Sunday with getting the windshield installed. The paint is done on the cab. We got the cab corners finished up. We painted the back wall. There was a lot accomplished in that week and we made really great progress. And we're trying to keep that progress going. I have four days before mini nats. So I need to get as much done as possible. Technically I'm on vacation. So Couch Magna got me this morning. And it's like 1.30, but we're back out here. We're getting it done. We have a lot of mechanical to do. It would be nice if the truck ran to at least get it on the trailer. I, like I've said a million times now, I'm not in this show. I'm bringing the truck so y'all can see it because there have been a lot of people asking me to see it. So I'm going to tow it down there and it'll resemble a truck. It's not going to be done. It's not going to be anywhere close to done. We're just... Doing the work we would have done regardless, taking our time, trying to make it right. I don't want to rush anything, so whatever stage it's in, by the time of the show, that's the stage it'll be in, and that's it. So we're going to chip away at it. There's a couple things I'd like to get done this week. I'd like to paint the back of the doors. Bought a 93 Mazda grill. I know it's not the right one for this body. I just really like the way they look because they're kind of different from the other ones. It is, it's shaped a little differently. It's got a, a cool look. I don't like the honeycombs. I think one of the things I'd like to do, I'd like to paint match this. I paint match the front bumper. I need to switch all of the plastic cladding stuff from the front bumper over to the paint match one. I think I would like to cut the honeycombs out of this. I need to run to the store and get some adhesion promoter. I'd like to paint this 
the same color as the, as the rest of the truck. And then we're going to continue to get this thing as close to as finished as possible. The engine isn't quite there. I don't have the brakes quite done. I still have to do small things like wire up the coil, wire up some sensors, wire up the distributor to the coil. I still need to make a few brake lines. I still need to permanently attach the clutch stuff and make a line for that and make a mount and all that stuff for that line. Like I said, the truck's pretty far away from being done. It's gonna be on a trailer for the whole weekend. I don't plan on taking it off the trailer, but I'd like to get as much done as possible. So again, like I say every time, we're gonna fight ADD. We're gonna try to not go crazy OCD on everything even though it happens. We get super focused on one thing and then get straight away because there's something shiny in the corner of the garage. So if you've never been here before, go check out the other videos. We're up to like 44 now. It's a lot of videos and there's a couple in there that aren't numbered. I've been meaning to make a folder for everything. I'll get to that probably after many nats because it's been so hectic and busy. So again, if you've never been here before, Go watch all the old videos, subscribe, do all the normal youtube -y things, like, comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you think I should do, and what I did wrong. I'd like to hear constructive criticism. Let's get into getting some work done. I can't paint the door jams just yet. I have to do them basically in the entrance of my garage, and I have to wait for the sun to start creeping basically behind the garage and giving me some shade, because... I don't really care to paint in direct sunlight because it never turns out right. So let's just get into it and I'm going to stop rambling. So I figure I'd throw it out there before I start hacking away at this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I know that I'm cutting off three of the mounts that it utilizes to hold itself in place. But this thing is, this thing is bolted on a lot. All the way across the top, all the way on the sides. And then there's three in the middle. I'm kind of thinking I'm I'm gonna cut it and I'll just figure it out later. I'm gonna attempt to cut the combs themselves off individually first, but I don't think it's gonna work out. I'll probably end up having to cut along this inner edge here, basically this portion. There's a pretty good chance I'm gonna ruin this, so wish me luck. I was hoping I'd be able to cut the, the tabs off flush, but it's not made like that. Once you cut the tabs off, there's actually a, a void there. So I think the idea is to cut on that line right there all the way around without scratching the crap out of this thing, hopefully. been like three hours. James came over on his way home from work while I was mid ADD just straight away 
I got bored with the grill. I started messing with the bumper. James showed up. I forgot to hit record while I was assembling the bumper. But the bumper is assembled. It's looking pretty good. I need to, of course, clean all this body dust off of the plastics. But I can throw this on now. I definitely like the paint match a lot more than the chrome. And it's turned out pretty decent. But James came by and helped me put the rear window in. So I'm going to add that in. And it is looking good. I got that thing. I know it's glass. It's hard to get glass that's this old, this clear. If you remember in some previous videos, I cleaned it with the, how to say it, griots, griots, griosh, how, whatever it is. Their like three step process for cleaning windshields. I haven't done the sealant yet. I figured out the truck's completely done and everything's 100% dry, I'll do the sealant, but it looks so much better now. It's actually starting to look like something. Put the bulkheads back in, bulkheads for the battery are back in, airlines. I was test fitting some stuff here, trying to get some ideas. I kind of want to paint this while I have the paint stuff out to do the grill. That was another thing. I got delayed, which is why we ended up doing the window. I planned on painting today, but that's not going to happen because whenever James came over, shortly after he left, it started like monsooning outside and it is wet and humid. It was like summertime hot when I came out here earlier. Now it's summertime hot with rain on top. It's extremely humid. We're going to keep chipping away. I'm going to hang this on the truck real quick after I get all the plastics nice and cleaned up. And I need to hit the store because I ran out of adhesion promoter when I did these guys. So I need to hit the store, get adhesion promoter for that. And I also need to get some sealant. According to the legacy website, you're supposed to use 3M weather strip adhesive, which seems weird because that stuff is terrible to work with. It's just a goopy mess, and I don't picture that stuff as something that you use as a sealant, but they make the kit. I actually tried to call them, and it's too late. It's already 5 o'clock, so I think, I think we're just going to bounce around and attempt to get some more stuff done since painting is out of the question today. I have some, a little bit of wiring I can mess with, but we're getting straight away. I'm gonna put the bumper on. I'm gonna show you what the grill looks like trimmed up. I like the way it looks. I'm happy with the decision to cut it up. I would like to find something that you can put behind the grill to fill back in what I cut out. Just a different shape, I guess. So if anybody knows any websites that sell grill material that looks nicer than the honeycomb that came in this let me know put it in the comments so i'll try and find something cooler to put in there it actually doesn't look bad just cut out so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna put some stuff together very carefully assemble it now when it was chrome it was kind of resilient to me just throwing it around that looks pretty good James pointed out when he was here I do have an outward dent that I didn't notice until he pointed it out. Kind of sucks because it's a brand new bumper. Cool. I think that looks pretty good with it cut out. You can see my little hella horns poking through there. I think it looks a lot better without that mesh stuff in there. But I definitely still want to color match it to this. I 
think it'll look nice. So I think what I'm going to do is hit the parts store tonight. And it's already getting dark and I can't paint anything. And that's kind of what I was planning on doing. And I really don't feel like doing any mechanical work today. We're laying on the ground and... Yeah, I'm just talking to myself out of working for the rest of the day. I got like a solid five hours in today between back window, assembling bumper, cutting the grill, assembling stuff, and I'm making excuses. So I'm going to go get adhesion promoter and pick this back up in the morning. I'm going to attempt my best to not get sucked into the couch magnet and get something done. So see you again in the morning. Well, it's Tuesday. The couch magnet got me for just a little bit while I was eating lunch and enjoying my partial vacation. But I'm out in the garage. I hit the parts store last night. I got some adhesion promoter. I picked up some weather strip adhesive. I texted, which is actually very convenient. They have a texting line, I guess, through Legacy. I text their line just to confirm kind of weird their instruction thing you download which it kind of looks like an older styled thing that they have on their website because all of the framing is welded together instead of bolted together it says that you need to use weather strip adhesive basically as a gasket between the metal frame of this stuff to the roof but I texted them last night was it without it was out of their business hours they texted me back this morning and said that you need to use, they, they replied with regular old RTV. So I went to the parts store, picked up some regular old RTV in gray, hoping that rather than black or whatever other color I could have used, maybe the gray will blend in with the gray paint. And another thing, last night, as I went to grab the doors, because I was going to start scuffing them down and getting them ready for the paint today. I guess because they've been outside for so long, I just never paid attention. The paint on the door jams is actually in really good shape. So I don't need to paint the door jams today. One thing I do need to do is pull I think I was remembering this. I need to pull the hinges off and paint the hinges. But all of the paint on the whole inside of the door jam looks fine. And I'm going with a factory color, so it doesn't really make sense to put good paint over top of good paint. But I'll pull the hinges off and we'll spray those at the same time as the grill. And we're gonna keep this ball rolling. I got the top laid out. I'm gonna get this all wiped down. I'm gonna cover the roof in tape because if I don't, I know I'll scratch it. And we will uh, attempt to install this by myself. James helped me slide the, the actual rag top into the channel last time, which made it a little easier. But you know, I'm impatient and I got this stuck in my mind right now. I might change in like 15 minutes. I might just stray off and do something else. But as of right now, we're putting the top in. I also figured if I put the tape down, it'll help prevent me getting silicone all over my freshly painted roof. I really hope that since this thing is so flimsy, I don't end up with like a pinched sharp corner or a massive dip, but there's a pretty strong chance that that's gonna happen. So, fingers crossed, the top tightens down and everything is smooth. So I'm kind of thinking here, I'm going to get everything, I don't know, maybe I'll get everything set in place but leave it loose and then maybe try to put the RTV underneath of it. Not really sure how to approach this, especially by myself. 
get a little complicated. Especially because these things just fall right off. So I don't think my idea is going to work with putting it in there after the fact. Because I don't think there's going to be enough room. So what I'm going to do is put it in as I go, I guess. I'm going to use the front one as a, a test to see if this thing has enough pressure to make all of this stuff ooze out of here. had this rigid drill for a really, really long time, and I never used it before. I bought it at a yard sale to do random stuff like this. I think I might have actually got this headliner a little too tight. According to the legacy video, you're supposed to get the headliner tight, jam this thing down in there, pre-drill it, which I'm not really sure how to go about that, considering how tight everything is in here. Mm. expect you to do that. Obviously never use that thing because the battery's dead. More than the other one did. Run the drill bit backwards to cut the headliner first. Because if you don't, it's going to bunge it up.
That took a little longer than I anticipated it. And mainly it's because I kept hitting RTV everywhere. I got a little, little teeny gaps in between this and the roof. But again, this roof was terrible. But surprisingly, it retained somewhat straightness. You can see how that light starts to bend when I get real close to it. But outside of that, it's not bad. This thing looks really cool rolled up. I still, I watched one of their videos on how to take this apart and maybe tweak it a little bit. I don't know what the material underneath of this is. It's high on the corners. I don't think that's something I need to worry about right now because it's installed, it's not gonna leak, and it looks pretty good. All of this black on top of that gray really makes that gray look nice. So now I need to figure out what else I'm gonna do. I think the sun has poked around the back of the garage enough that maybe we can get some painting done. I'm gonna take the door hinges off the doors, prep the grill some more, and then figure out if there's any other little things. If I do everything in base coat, clear coat, I might be able to do the cow. Oh, and speaking of the cow, I set it on there yesterday so you could see what I was talking about, how you can clearly see all of that material that I painted, all of the vents and sheet metal and whatnot. The other cowl that was on there, they welded a piece of sheet metal to the top, or to the bottom side of it, and then completely caked it full of Bondo. When I say Bondo, I mean actual Bondo. The pink, nasty stuff that doesn't come off and it's impossible to sand. That cowl is trash. When it comes time to put that truck together, we're going to have to find another cow for it because that thing is it's terrible. I'm all about, depending on how the truck's set up, shaving stuff. It's not my thing. It looks good on a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of incorrect ways to shape, shave some stuff. And everything that was on that truck, or everything sheet metal that was bolted to this truck and that's on that truck, was done incorrectly. Just, it was, I don't know, it's bad. Let's find something else to do. Come on. Well, I got a, I got a little distracted today. I went through, put the adhesion promoter on the grill. And then I went through and primer sealed the grill and something reacted and it was completely covered in fish eyes. So I tried to let it dry and sand them down and it keeps gumming up because it's not fully cured. So that wasn't working out. So I decided to take a break and do some other things. I put a fresh coat of paint on the tank. It was supposed to be satin, somehow it came out flat. Every time I spray that paint, it comes out like that is supposed to be the same as that. They're totally different. Every time I spray that stuff, it comes out completely different. But we got the top in today. Looking good. I think I might have to go back with the silicone and lay, like, maybe, like, force it into that very tiny crack around the edge of this thing. Because just the slight differences where the silicone actually pushed out and filled the void you can see where it didn't push out and fill the void so that might be a later on thing the top's in it's looking good i got the headliner portion of it finished up i went through hooked this stuff back up seat belts in speakers are in reattached the wiring to the bulkhead tied in the compressor wiring all tucked into everything here I went through and laid on the ground and started seam sealing the floor because I never seam sealed the inner portion of what I welded I gotta finish that up hopefully tomorrow there's a lot of random little things that I was doing that it didn't really make sense to record because you wouldn't be able to see me really seam sealing in there because it's such a tight area. I 
I was trying to figure out, which I still would like to figure out, a solution, a solution for the hood release. So since I tucked everything, and the hood release is supposed to poke out of the firewall here and kind of drape across all of this, it's too short by about, I don't know, eight inches or so. I have some junk F-series trucks in my backyard. And I found this little extension thing on one of the 2008 trucks. I'm kind of thinking if I can figure out how to retain this smaller end inside of this thing and mount this thing somewhere in here, modify this end a little bit to fit into the factory location or open that up to the Ford size, I will actually be able to use the factory hood release in its factory location. So maybe tomorrow I mess with that. Started wiring in the horns. So now I just need to actually hook this up and then make a jumper. A lot of random little stuff today that I don't know. It's kind of boring stuff to record. Tomorrow I'm supposed to go look at a parts car for my crown. So it's two hours there and two hours back, and however long it takes to talk to this guy. Plus I gotta hit the bank and get cash, so tomorrow's probably gonna be sort of a wash. I'll get in here, try and get something done at the beginning of the day, after I go to the bank, I guess. Maybe you can get this grill sanded. It really sucks that it did that, because it was looking super smooth. And I thought I was gonna have that done today, but there's always tomorrow, and we're still off so i got basically two days to continue getting done whatever i can get done it's kind of at this point i need to make the brakes work at least so between tomorrow at some point and thursday i think that's going to be the goal make the brakes work that way we can at least push it on the trailer and stop it on the trailer oh that was another thing i'll add that footage in Went through, pulled every wheel off the trailer that I'm borrowing from my buddy because he doesn't ever do the maintenance on his trailers, it seems like, until they're broken. And I repacked all the bearings, and tomorrow I got to weld a taillight mounting box thing onto it and just make sure all the lights work. It's one of those things where he uses it like crazy around town, and if it breaks around town, it's not that big of a deal, but... I don't think it's ever been on a really long trip, except for the time he purchased it. So, still got a lot of work to do. We still got two days, so wish me luck. Well, just like I predicted the other day, yesterday was a bust. I actually got the trailer. I have to wire in the pigtail for the light connector, but I'll add all that footage. I welded a new taillight end on there. I welded some, a lot of random cracks that are on that trailer that I think they just make that trailer too stiff. So they're prone to cracking because it happens to all of them. So I spent whatever it was, four or five hours working on the trailer. My buddy came and picked me up at one o'clock. We drove two and a half hours away to look at a car to potentially purchase. The car ended up having slightly different interior and slightly different things. It was gonna be a parts car for my crown. I ended up working out a deal with the guy. I bought a grill, a radio bezel, some armrest stuff, a factory radio that needs repaired because it's dead like mine is, factory floor mats, just a bunch of random little things that 
are extremely hard to find in America because they never made these cars in America and I'm not the brightest bulb and I bought something you can't buy parts for. So it's cool enough to let me buy parts off the car rather than purchase the entire car. So hopefully I can make all this stuff work. And let me know in the comments. I have a lot of projects. Like more projects than any, but any one person should own. And I'd work on them off camera a lot. Let me know if y'all want me to start uploading other project videos. Rather than just the Mazda. Because I'm already doing the work. It's not the big of a deal just to upload some content from those like next week since I'm not going to purchase that car on Monday or Tuesday and bring it home the plan is to possibly bring the crown in the garage since I'll have the truck on the trailer and do all of the things that I need to do to it coilovers converting the brakes to US brakes replacing all of these pieces fixing things to make it 100% reliable daily driver. So, now that all that's out of the way, and y'all understand that I didn't, I don't know, I didn't get home until like 9 o'clock last night from us driving there and back and looking at sea containers for sale and doing all of these random things. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. But the truck looks exactly the same. So, today, since I only have today, I need to move all of this crap around my garage so I can get the truck out of the garage and the truck on the trailer. We're going to throw the doors, the fenders, the hood, the unpainted grill that fought me with the fish eyes and whatnot. I was actually able to sand on that yesterday, but it's coming with us just like that because I do not have hours and hours of time to spend completely prepping it and painting it again. I'm, I'm slacking. I should have started this Mini Nats Crunch like three months ago. But the truck's going to resemble a truck. And we're going to make it to Mini Nats. That's the point. That's what we're getting to. So we're going to get it up on Chop Air. We're going to bolt the panels to it where it looks like a truck. We're going to get it on the trailer today. Because I have to. Because we're leaving at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So, enough of me rambling. Let's get back to work.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Virginia Slow Riders. My name is not Crawford. It is James, Jared, Tim Othi. We decided to be safe and uh, I'm not. He's not recording because he has a steering wheel in his hand. We care about safety. So we're on our way to Mini Nats. It's seven hours and 15 minutes away. Um, we're about four hours away, so we're three hours in. Beautiful scenery here in North Carolina. Show them the beer. I'm gonna go back. Oh. I don't know if it'll, it'll show it. You have to focus it to where the seat that's locked in there. Bring it over towards me. Oh, there it is. Sorry, guys, I'm a little slow. Hi. We got the Mazda. And we got Tim. Tim. Welcome back. That's our commercial break. Um, so we're driving. We're going to get there around 1230. Hang out. Hugs, kisses, handshakes, whatever you guys want. We're gonna sign babies. We're shaking babies and kissing hands. Yeah, we're shaking babies and kissing hands this weekend. Uh, I'll sign foreheads. You know, this guy will be hanging out. We will have a normally scheduled video. I will be uploading it at the normal time on Sunday. This will be an additional video to that. He says that normal normal time like. He texted me, well, I stopped by the house last week. He said, yeah, I'm going to upload early this week. I'm going to go inside early. So I waited around. This video is already done. I just need to upload it. So as long as I have service, which I hear it's kind of spotty in the valley, but as long as we have service, it'll get uploaded. I won't hold my breath. So enjoy this episode. Mini Nats coverage, hanging out. 2024. Yeah, oh yeah, 2024. Not if I'm being, you know, face it towards me. It is on you. <laughs> okay, we are 40 minutes away. We had to make a 20 some odd minute detour to hit an Ace Hardware. Brandon from Lower Class Fab, which I'll add a link if y'all, I don't know how you wouldn't know who that is if you found my channel on YouTube, but he's saying that he can get me into the show. I didn't bring this stuff to air the truck up on the trailer. I never anticipated being in the show or lifting the truck off the trailer during this entire trip. So we got the stuff to convert it to straighter valve so we can try and pump it up with my little tiny slime pump thing. So that's the plan. We're going to be in the show, supposedly. We'll see what happens when we get there. Hopefully there's no bad things to happen. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, I'm good. What are we doing, James? We're carrying the truck up ghettoly. It works. Yeah, so we went to the parts store, picked up some Schraders, and we're attempting to pump it up with that little tiny thing here. So this might take a couple hours, but we'll get it up there. <laughs> All right, we got the truck sort of elevated. Hopefully, we can get off the trailer which we're heading over there now
So like I said in the beginning of the video, last night we were hanging out and we decided there's not really a plenty place to put the trailer with the truck attached to it because we had the worst Airbnb probably possible. It was terrible, terrible driveway. It was literally like driving up the mountain because it was on the side of the mountain and the driveway was 90 degree turn into 90 degree turn. And the rental truck is a king kit or crew cab, big truck with a car trailer. There was no way we were getting it again there. We actually left the trailer in a parking lot at a church all weekend and nobody messed with it. I pulled the hitch off and the tire off because we had some issues with the trailer, but super hectic. So last night I decided to cannonball at home. I just hopped in the truck after the show and after loading the truck and after everything. And we got on the road at like 1030. We got home after six o'clock. It was a really, really long day, especially since we woke up. It was pretty much a 24 hour day. So at the show, Brandon took care of me. He, he gave me a ticket in. He gave me a place to, to, to chill out and everything. Super nice people. I met Jason at Magic Man Metal Fab. He, great guy. Everybody that I met was awesome. All of the people that follow the build are awesome. Everybody was super nice. Couldn't have went any better, I don't think. And while we were hanging out, lower class actually decided to mess with me a little bit and we went back and forth. They were gonna make me to decide on who would win the trophy and they ended up giving me trophy plaque that they came up with for their, their own people between all of them because they were doing the exact same thing that I was doing and trying to get a truck together enough to drive down there, which is crazy. There's no way that I wouldn't be able to drive there. I don't, they hustle and they put some stuff together quick. I, my brain doesn't allow me to do it. I don't know what it is. So they actually gave me that, which is awesome. Like I said, great weekend. Everybody was awesome. Great guys. Brandon, all of his friends, Jason, awesome people. Hopefully next year, if I don't drive it, at least I can drive it off the trailer and cruise the strip because it's, it's an awesome experience. If you can make it next year, highly recommend. It is all night cruising. Like we left at 1030 and there were still people on the strip. The traffic was crazy yesterday, but the night before that, cruising, and I'm pretty sure that probably tonight, which is Sunday, there's probably cruising again. It's an awesome, awesome atmosphere, awesome town, well worth driving. Like we put 1,100 miles on the crew cab rental truck and well worth the drive. And the only thing that sucks is the amount of gas that that thing takes. It was crazy, we filled up what felt like a hundred times. So it almost cost me more for gas for the rental than it did the actual rental itself. But it was worth the money, worth the time, worth the effort going and worth seeing the truck outside of the garage for once. So got the front end on, got the doors on. I started painting the grill. I had some fisheye issues, but seeing this thing outside is, it's pretty awesome. And it's the motivation that I need to actually finish it. So. I added a little clip in. I came up with this logo for the back or design for the back. It's actually the same thing that's on the door. I just took it in my computer software, flipped the image, blew it up and doubled it. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I eventually do want to put these back on the truck. That's why I came up with that. So I think that turned out pretty cool. We're, uh, we're looking good. We didn't have any issues. The trailer axle, I think, is pretty bent because it wore out one tire. But luckily, we brought two spares just because for the, all of the things that we've done with my friends, it seems like there's always some tire issues with something. So we got it covered, and we didn't have any actual problems. We swapped out the tire, and it wasn't a big deal. But the truck, again, lower class guys, helped me push it in. Magic Man Jason helped me push it out and push it on the trailer. It was awesome. Everything that y'all did, I truly appreciate. So 
I think that's about wraps it up for this week. It's a really long video. There's a lot going on and I need to get back to cleaning my garage. So I'm going to spend this week getting all that body dust out of there. The truck might even stay outside and we might start working on the body work and then bounce around a little bit. I'm not sure. The truck needs to make it back in there. I also need to work on my daily driver. So again, thank you very much for all of the people that came by to see me shook hands and met and introduced everybody. There was, it was a good time. It was a good change of pace. I got to hang out with my buddies for a whole lot of driving, especially after last night. It was a super long day. We were up for almost 24 hours. So again, I'll see y'all next Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe, do all the normal YouTube things. And I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs>